In today's tutorial, I want to quickly introduce you to the pyro system inside Cinema 4D 2023. You can now create fire and smoke simulation easily. Let's start by creating a sphere. Right-click on it, Simulation Tags, Pyro. If you hit play, you have your simulation. Let's take a look at the pyro tag. Density here is referring to smoke. So if I turn that off, we won't have smoke anymore. Temperature here is referring to fire. Set is how hot the fire is. So if we bring this up, it's gonna blow up like an explosion. The next important thing is the velocity. With it, you can choose the direction of your fire. If you select set absolute velocity here and put a direction here so X, Y, and Z, choose minus one on the Y axis and increase the strength, I will have like a rocket booster simulation. If you need, you can turn off gravity by hitting Ctrl plus D. And here on the simulation tab, scene, you can put zero for the gravity. Let's put the gravity to his default by right-clicking on the arrow here. I want to change the direction as well, so the fire goes to the right. What we can do now is if we want an object to interact with our simulation, I can add a plane for instance, and add a Collider Simulation tag. You can see that the plane is now colliding with the fire. Delete this plane, and now I want to add a color to my smoke. Go back to the Pyro tag, disable the temperature, here on the color, you can modify the color of the smoke. Let's choose a blue. Now I can duplicate my sphere, make them a bit smaller and I want the smoke to go on the left. So here on the pyro tag, put minus one. Let's put an orange color on this one. So now you can see that we have two sources of smoke interacting with each other. Forces can also work with smoke simulation. So go to simulate forces and add a rotation force. Let's decrease the strength here on both simulations to have a better representation. You can play with different forces as well. I'm just going to increase the force of the rotation here, and maybe the orientation of it. You can really get some cool results very quickly.
Once you're happy with the result, you can cache your simulation by going here on the pyro object. Here on the object tab, we only need the density and temperature, so put the velocity on off. Go to the cache tab, find a folder where you want your simulation to be saved and hit cache scene. For the render part with Octane, you can refer to my video up here, where you put your VDB files inside an Octane VDB volume. You can also add a simple Octane tag to the Pyro object, and Octane will automatically recognize it as a VDB. So right-click on the object, Extensions, C4D Octane Tags, Octane Object Tag. Now if you go to the Particle Rendering tab, click on the Standard Volume, and you will have all the options to set up your volume correctly. I hope this video was helpful. This is just to show you the power of the new pyro simulation inside Cinema 4D. Don't hesitate to play with it to create your own animation. See you in the next tutorial.